What's going on guys? It's Machanga back with another video. Today we're taking a look at the Motorola Razr 2020 version and we just got it in the studio. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing to show you what's in the box. And of course, make sure you subscribe for the full review if that's something you're interested in. Now I really like the box. The box actually feels really premium. There's some kind of speaker design at the bottom, but we'll talk about that in the review. After removing the box, you have some packaging on the inside that's going to hold all of the items that come with the razor. So in the packaging, you get all of your normal items. You get an adapter for the earbuds. You get your charger. You get your earbuds themselves. This phone does use USB-C, so you're going to get the charging cable and the power brick. It is an 18-watt charger, and of course, you get your paperwork, and that's what you're going to find in the packaging. I'm really interested in how the speakers sound using this little speaker box design. It's fairly unique and I will be testing that in the full review, but it looks really cool. So we're just gonna remove the razor itself from the box. The box is heavy. The razor itself feels nice and hefty, but it's not too heavy and it's super thin. I know I'm calling this box a speaker box, but I, I don't think it actually is, but I know that it does amplify whatever you're playing on the phone. Motorola tells you right there, do not add a screen protector to this phone because it will damage the screen. You have their logo on the back and that's where you're gonna find the little secondary smaller screen and your camera with flash. Again, this phone does use USB-C. Not really sure what this material is, but we'll talk about it in the full review. Again, you don't wanna apply a screen protector to this phone, so that's really something to consider being that this is not a glass screen, it is plastic. But we're gonna go ahead and power the device up. While it is turning on, we're gonna go ahead and cover the some quick specs here. This is running the Snapdragon 710 processor, which is not the most high end for the $1,500 price tag on this phone. But you do get six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. So that's cool, I guess. But I don't know if it justifies the price. Now that we've have it, now that we have it turned on, we're just gonna close it for the first time. And there's some weird creasing. I wish I could have, I wish you guys could have heard it in the video. It's some weird creasing, but in the full review, we will cover that. And you can see the screen after it's been folded. There is some weird creasing noise. But anyway, hopefully that won't be a problem. I wanted to see if we could open it one-handed like I used to do on the old razor. We actually have a couple of older razors here just to compare. And you can see the size difference between the old 2004 razor and the 2020 version. And that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for the unboxing. Again, if you wanna see a full review of this phone, make sure you're subscribed. I really appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.